Okay, so we're going to implement the design version dropdown to our design management application. As you can see from the design, it's a simple dropdown listing all the versions we have. Right now, in our app, we have the component already implemented, but it's not working because we don't have versions fetched from the backend. To see how we can fetch versions, let's go to our GraphQL interface and check our documentation for GraphQL schema. Currently, as you can see, we're fetching only the list of designs, which correlates perfectly with what we have on the front end. Now let's try to add versions. As you can see, they are located within project query and you should go to the issue we have, to the design collection. And you can see we have a list of designs here and versions as well. I've already created a really simple query for versions. I will just uncomment it here and let's give it a try. As you can see, it fetched an array of versions. So we need to add this part of the project query to our front end. Here you can see the query for the project. It's already created within the design management application and the version part is commented. Let's uncomment it and check how it will work on the front end side with the Apollo DevTools. I'm saving this and switching to our Apollo cache. Let me just reload the frame. And let's see what we're fetching from the backend. Yeah, like always happens. Let's reload a console and check a follow that to this one more time. In this case, we can always go to network and check the web health value. Let me just refresh the page and you can see here in the response we are fetching the project with the designs and versions. Let's check Apollo one more time. Of course, it bugs because we are recording. But in fact, we have versions right now on our front end and we can use them. In the index view component, we created an empty data property all versions and we added all versions to our Apollo object. So we're fetching not only designs but versions as well. In our update hook, we are just getting rid of all the edges part and we are saving them to the all versions array. Let's go to the browser back and let's simply check what do we have on our index. As you can see, there is an array of all versions fetched from the backend. And we don't have edges here because we did the transformation. Now let's see how do we pass them to our design dropdown component. Here we have an upload form where we pass our versions with a prop. Let's go deeper. And here in the upload form, we have design versions dropdown. And again, we're passing all versions with a prop. And here we are just rendering them as a dropdown. In fact, it could be done different, differently with a GraphQL because we can simply query our Apollo cache and see what's going on without even additional network request. Let's check our GraphQL queries one more time. As you can see here, we are batching two queries. It's permission and project. Let's try to move our all versions query directly to the dropdown component. To do so, I will uncomment these two queries. We are just importing queries from GraphQL files here. I will also comment this mixing. In fact, this mixing is just passing a prop. And let's add Apollo property here, where we will add two queries. First one, 
will be all versions. But there is an issue. We are using project path and issue ID, and we should fetch it from somewhere. These two properties are coming from application data query. This query is fetching project path and issue ID from our Apollo cache where they're stored from the URL. So let's just copy paste this app data one and add it and save. Let's go to the browser and check what's going on here. No errors, as you can see. Our dropdown is still working. And let's go to the network tab, refresh it. As you can see, we have no additional network requests. It's still the same GraphQL query because from the design dropdown component first, from the design version dropdown component, it's just fetching the data from Apollo cache where they already stored by project query. I think that's it.